What's going on guys, today we're going to be breaking down the spoilers for My Academia chapter 326 which features the first ever meeting between All Might and Stain. This is something which has been on the cards for a pretty long time as Stain's admiration for All Might is a big factor in why he began killing fake heroes. And of course, All Might himself then wanted to have a talk with Stain after the villain was put in Tartarus prison. The name of this chapter is Who Are You, a title that refers to the fact that All Might is now unrecognisable compared to the image that Stain would have in his head as, you know, he was locked up when All Might's weak form was revealed to the world. Just before we get into the full spoilers, don't forget to sub to the channel with notifications on for weekly spoiler breakdowns like this, and as usual, let me know in the comments what you think of the chapter. Okay, so the chapter starts with All Might driving his car while remembering his last conversation with Izuku. He goes to Kamino where Deku vs Class 1A took place, and sees part of his mask lying on the ground, and this is referring to Midoriya's mask. He then looks at his own statue and remembers his talk with Aizawa before the war, when Aizawa said that just by being alive, he's already helping many people. However, All Might himself reflects and says that he can't do anything for his suffering disciple and that he's just holding everyone back. This is when Stain appears, pointing his sword at All Might and saying that these words are an insult to a great hero. At this point, Stain doesn't actually know that the person he's talking to is All Might, but All Might recognizes Stain and says that he couldn't talk to him in Tartarus like he wanted. Stain replies saying he doesn't know what he's talking about, and All Might then realizes that Stain doesn't know about his thin form, since like I said in the intro, he was locked up in Tartarus. The former number one hero then introduces himself, but Stain says that he's lying. So in order to prove what he's saying, All Might briefly transforms into his muscle form to prove it. But even with this, Stain still continues to doubt it. The villain says that skinny All Might is an imposter, and asks why he came to the holy land of a hero to lie and dirty his name. All Might replies that maybe he was always lying because he created a false image of himself because he couldn't stand to see the injustices around him, and the end result of his efforts is the current terrible state of hero society. He says that even though he put his life on the line, he couldn't help his disciple and after that he didn't even have the courage to talk to him at UA. He remembers the scene of the civilians handing the umbrellas to the students, which shows that All Might was there during Achako's whole speech and everything that happened, he just didn't have the courage to step forward and reveal himself. That is actually really sad when you think about it because this guy was the former number one hero, he was idolized by literally everyone and right now his confidence is just so low and I think there's a few things that contributed to this. I mean, number one, the fact that he has no power, he feels useless, but number two, the fact that Deku doesn't listen to him and number three, the students in general, they, if you look at this scene in season four, they were kind of like disrespecting him in a way because he was trying to engage with them and they were just like, where's Aizawa? Like they didn't really care that All Might was there. And so I, I feel like this moment in particular, it kind of cemented to All Might that the students don't really need him. Stain then jumps towards All Might as if he was going to attack him, but instead he only pulls him out of the way because he saw a woman arriving. They both hide as Stain tells All Might to watch, and by coincidence, the woman here is the one who All Might saved in Kamino, who was trapped under the rubble of a building. All for One tried to blast her with an enhanced air cannon, and yeah, I mean, obviously she clearly would have died if, if uh, All Might didn't intervene here, and it seems that, you know, as almost like a repayment for that, she goes to the statue and begins to clean it, and removes the sign that says I am not here. Stain then poetically says that the embers left behind by All Might have not been blown out even by the strongest of winds, and have been passed on to a new group of people who have turned those embers into a huge fire that continues to grow. All Might begins to cry as he watches the lady clean the statue, and Stain says that he is unable to recognize All Might at the moment, but if he really is the true hero he admires, he should use the information that Stain obtained from Tartarus and kill him, putting an end to the hero killer. He throws a knife on the ground near All Might, containing a piece of paper with the information he was talking about. He then finishes by saying that this is all for the sake of a more just society, and at this point All Might is still crying. What Stain said there about a more just society, so that is basically just his mantra, like the reason he was killing fake heroes, and the reason he was also killing the petty criminals, like you know he was trying to kill Shigaraki, he killed the Nomu, the reason he was killing certain villains as well was because Ultimately, Stain's goal was to make a society that was more fair, a society that was more just in his opinion. So he's never really deviated from that ideology, and the reason he wants All Might to kill him is because All Might is a true hero. And you know, back during the Hero Killer arc, he said the only person who can kill me is All Might. So he's just fulfilling that prophecy, I guess. That being said, I don't know about you guys, but I highly doubt All Might is going to pick up a knife next chapter and just kill this guy. Like. That's not All Might, he doesn't do that. I mean, if, even when he did try to kill All For One, that was because he was like the most evil person in history. You know, with Stain, he's a bad person, he's killed people. 
but I feel like All Might isn't just gonna stab him and that's the end of it. What I think is more likely is that in the coming chapters, instead of killing Stain, All Might will work with Stain because, you know, whatever information Stain has from Tartarus, that is gonna be valuable and I guess whenever they get where they're gonna go, which is probably, you know, the location of Shigaraki in Awful 1, whenever they get there, Stain could be of help. You know, he has a pretty decent quirk, he has a lot of skill, so I think Stain will end up helping All Might rather than being killed. The chapter then ends with the woman who was cleaning the statue looking up at the sky and realizing the rain is stopping. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the chapter. Be sure to let me know in the comments what you think of this chapter and are you of the opinion that Stain will be killed by All Might or do you think like I do that these two will actually work together? Whatever you think, let me know. And until the next one, peace out.